Hey, Tom with New Guys Guitar. <laughs> it's finally become time to swap out the power cord on the champ amp. First, I need to put a new battery in my multimeter. Then we can get going. So what's up? How have you guys been? It's been a while. Anything new? Yeah, well, I've been uh, looking up and researching how to work with this amplifier in the safest possible way. So hopefully, that won't be an issue. Nobody gets shocked, because getting shocked sucks. Off. Okay. Put the screw back in. Just so you guys know, I've had to run to the store like six times for all this batteries and everything else. It's been quite the experience. Quite the experience. Okay, so. Well, I didn't get anything. Okay, so according to my multimeter, we don't have any more juice in anything. So I'm going to potentially take out the, the wire or the... This guy, see if I can't pull that out of there. And that guy is in there. Hmm. Well, 
might have to cut off the power cord and uh, see about this. Okay, well, didn't get zapped or anything. That's a plus so far. It's the old cord. Two prong cord of death. Not going to need that anymore. We're upgrading this bad boy. These leads. Now, <clears throat> I've heard that when you're installing a cord with a ground, that you want to have the ground wire twice as long as the neutral and the hot. And there was a very fancy explanation, and it, it uh, seemed to work out. In, in a sense, it's so it doesn't short out to the chassis if for some reason these wires short out. Which, I'll probably do that. That sounds like a good idea. I'm going to get this guy ready. Aha. A little bit of working at it. And we got her on did. We'll see about reusing that if we can or if we can't. Hopefully, would be nice, but uh, not holding my breath, right? All right, so we got this cut down. I pulled it through. Now I'm just gonna snip those wires off. That's going to make everything a lot more easy to, to handle with the solder and whatnot. So, yeah. All right, now I got the ground wire exposed. I'm going to slap on this guy. What you kind of do is what I do. So I'll kind of spin it off like that. fit it in through. You know you're through. You got a little bit sticking out there at the end. That's perfectly all right. So we're going to crimp her down right there. Grab that. Crimp. Crimp her on like that. So with these other two, I'm going to cut them down to about right about here and then we're gonna cut this shielding back just a hair also i will do that next all right so i got my leads right here that one's kind of really in the best so what i'm going to do is i'm going to the ground i'm going to screw into here and i'm going to remove this guy because this is the death cap from the fuse to the ground, this will kill you. So, I'm gonna remove it quick. All right, there it is, removed. And, uh, it makes, leads on this are a little bit longer, so I'm gonna cut this down just a hair, get a little bit more space, and then we're gonna insert the cord. Okay, there we go. Cut her a little bit longer. I'm going to attach uh, these guys before I mess with the ground. First, time to unsolder that. So we'll get the soldering iron out, pull that out, and uh, solder in the new one. Alright, you got 
one that's soldered in. I'm going to screw the ground in. That's the green wire. And then I'm going to solder that in. Then we should be good to go to put her back together. Oh, never so closer. Just have to unsolder that. Solder that guy in. And get her all squared away. Set up, wired in, we took out the death cap. One thing I forgot about the thing to hold the cord. So I'm gonna have to maybe figure that out. Maybe have to pick up a grommet or something for now until I can figure out something better. But yeah, uh, keep that in mind. If you're going to be doing this because uh, I didn't keep that in mind so well it looks like we've done all we can do on the champ for now um, until I get that uh, cord fastener that's a part of the safety you always want to make sure you have that you don't want the cord rub it up against uh, the sides of bare metal that'll rub out and short out on the frame okay until next time I'm gonna figure that out and then there will be part three so keep a uh, lookout for that it's a bit new guys guitar thanks for watching